Thanks, man. Uh, we're just saying hi. Morning. Hey. It's really friendly people in uh, Manila. Yeah, so this is Aurora, Aurora Boulevard. I'm gonna visit the Aranita Coliseum. That is the Coliseum where the WBA and WBC fight took place between Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. And it was both a thriller in Manila. So shout out to my brother Alton for giving me a heads up. Uh, when he found out I was coming to Manila, he asked me to check that place out straight away. So I'm gonna go there. But first, I'm going to have some breakfast because I'm really hungry. I've had a good rest, but now I also want to have some good breakfast. So I'm going to check out Jolly Bees. I think they're right over there. Alright, I just want to check that they're not too crowded. There we go, Jolly Bee. Alrighty, so I went for the hot dog breakfast and as you can see it's got the hot dog, it's got an egg and it's got some fried rice as well and together with that you get a uh, either juice or, a, or an iced tea so I opted for the juice, nice pineapple juice, nice and fresh in the morning so uh, this was about $2.40 um, 130 pesos not bad so they don't provide knives it's the spoon and the fork so I'm just gonna see what I can do with that right. Actually really good. I think it's closed guys it is Sunday so I reckon there's probably nothing happening uh, I will be back in Manila in in about a week's time maybe just more than a week because I have to catch my return flight back to South Africa not to worry it was worth a shot but as you can see doors are shut uh, it would have been interesting to see what else is happening inside this Coliseum. I think there might be other sporting events. I see a lot of basketball uh, banners up here. Basketball madness at the Dome here. These buses are called jeepneys and it's uh, the most popular means of transport in the Philippines. Here we go. Mount Tal over there, Tomita. 
Charles. So the hotel is kind of in a residential area. Um, and it's not a traditional hotel, it's like a capsule hotel. So it's got pods. And this is a favorite pastime as well. Basketball. Hey guys, this lady. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you want to give your name as well? Nika. Nika, guys. This is Nika. She was looking after me during my stay at Omitos. So I want to make my way to the Memorial Circle. Uh, it's about two and a half kilometers from where I'm staying. And um, I believe there's an amusement park and some other activities as well. So I want to do that because the flight's only at 4 this afternoon. So I had some time to, to spare. And I thought I might as well go and check out some more of the activities in Kazan City while I'm here. So, I'm not sure if you can see that guys, but it's, it's 31 degrees Celsius. It's partly cloudy, but I guarantee you it is extremely humid. But I'm on a scooter now, 40 pesos. Okay, so we just stopped at the gas station. There's a uh, my friend here didn't have any gas in his tank. Yeah, All right. And then he asked me to pay the full amount to fill up his tank. And I said, no, no, I'll give you a half now and half when you drop me. I've arrived at Memorial Circle. I gave the guy 20 pesos and told him that I'll give him the rest when I uh, when he drops me off at the circle. But then uh, when we stopped, he just told me it's okay, I don't need to pay him the rest. So I ended up just paying 20 pesos. Right. Let's cross. See like a little food market on the side. Check out that monument over there. See, there's a statue as well. Yeah, so this is actually 
a museum. But uh, I won't be going into the museum. It's not enough time. So I'm just going to be taking some pictures out here and get some shots in. But I just want to see what this, what this statue is. Manuel Al Hazan. It's beautiful out here, guys. Look at these beautiful green trees. And so there you see the sign Kazan Memorial Circle. There's also an amphitheater on that side. Mm -hmm. 